Hello, hello, dears, and welcome back to the channel Benidorm by Anna. We are on the loveliest Levante beach back again. It's so nice and sunny that we decided to go out to let you know the latest Benidorm news update. We'll be talking about the situation today, the latest events that are waiting for you right now in January month about a protest at one of the airlines that made Alicante Airport cancel quite a few flights landing out there and as well as all the pending plans of Benidorm for 2024. Everything that's been there for quite a while but still is not done and finished and about the latest famous person for stealing, robbing, and eating free of charge in Benidorm town. And obviously we'll top it all up with the weather forecast from Costa Blanca, Spain. A very important update, we just came back home. It wasn't a part of today's news, but I got to tell it to you guys so that you would know uh, there's been a huge change in terms of mandatory masks in our Valencian community region. We are uh, growing cases as crazy as insane hospitals, um, ICU units, and a lot of other health centers as they are, are extremely full. People are even being displaced from the public hospitals to private ones because there is, have slightly more of um, places where to stay. So starting from right now, masks are mandatory back again in hospitals, in health centers, ICU units, uh, and all these types of, including in the waiting rooms of hospitals, masks become to be mandatory. It's quite possible that on Monday there's going to be another reunion here in uh, Spain. There's only two regions that so far did these changes and went back to mandatory masks in hospitals and ICU and health centers and waiting rooms where um, people are kind of ill. Uh, so it's only two of them and one of them is Valencian community, which is obviously including Benidorm town. Um, what's going to be happening in my, on Monday, we don't know just yet. Uh, the government of our region because our region has the highest index it's not only about covid okay we have a flu a we have bronchiolitis and a lot of other respiratory viral infections and to contain all the situation in hospitals this is when masks are being put in place for back again so on monday we'll see what's going to be happening they will evaluate all the situation uh, once again and there is a possibility that it will be put in public transport back again there is a possibility it's not confirmed just yet we are waiting for what's going to be happening on monday but um there is a strong possibility a strong case only due to the fact that um the situation is getting out of control there is not enough staff uh there is uh, not enough beds in the hospitals and our region is the worst only almost the worst one in spain with the cases and hospitals and healthcare centers and emergency units cannot take it any longer somehow this evolved so so fast all of a sudden that we even do not expect that happening but we wanted you to know it which is why we're at home already we've decided to include it in today's news update because we think it's a very important news for you to know let's start with the situation update first as you all know we've had really really busy holidays hotels and apart hotels in general accommodation options were quite full during christmas and new year's eve and new year's day right now when we are already heading towards the mid january it might seem that it's getting slightly quieter but it's actually not the case we will show you the promenade at the end of the video and you can see a small part of it right here there is constant movement of people non-stop this feels like summer this feels like summer it's not winter it's not january month in Benidorm. It's impossible that it's so, so incredibly uh, busy. We do think that probably we're going to be having non-stop tourism the whole entire year because today we have the Three Kings Day Parade, which will be celebrated at 6 p.m. on our community tab right here on our channel. You will see the whole entire information that you need to know and where to go if you are in Benidorm and you want to celebrate the Three Kings Parade with us for Spanish. It's a very, very important celebration. So bear that in mind if you want to be a piece of this unique event in Benidorm. A lot of other cities and villages also do their parade today. So 
check it out wherever you are staying maybe there is some interesting events going on apart from that obviously we are heading towards the last days of the fair of the christmas fair it will be closed this weekend on sunday it's going to be the last day so if you still wanted to go to ice skate on the ice skating rink or if you wanted to try some roasted chestnuts anything at all uh bear that in mind sunday will be the last day of it and also we have a huge event which will be cyclocross in benidorm world famous already there's going to be thousands of participants and it's going to be celebrated here in benidorm towards the end of january so it will still be incredibly busy at the end of the month and then we have benidorm fest which is pre-selection for eurovision of spain and it's also celebrated here there's going to be the whole more entire week of different events so up until second week of february there's going to be a lot of people in benidorm town apart from that the situation could have been um slightly worse so far it's not the case as you might all know iberia airline they went on strike but not all workers it just in terms of handling it's called so like on earth handling of luggage checking etc so what happened is that they do not agree with some terms and conditions that they were left out of several airports in terms of handling positions and um, the syndicate and the airports what they're telling is that they need to do like auto handling so like handle all this by themselves um and not to spread their workers to like so that they wouldn't depend from any other company rather than just from themselves and they didn't like it so they went on a strike and starting from today friday four days in the row so friday saturday sunday and monday they will be on strike the good news is that so far we did not see too many uk or international uh, flights affected but if you have a connecting flight to madrid and then from madrid you're flying to alicante with iberia company any of the iberia companies these flights were cancelled at least for today we have eight flights cancelled madrid alicante alicante madrid which is quite sad there was around 800 people affected either they had their money reimbursed and returned or they were offered to change to a different airline or different types of tickets uh, later or earlier before the date but not as bad as it seems so far we'll see how it will go hopefully no international flights will be affected but if it's a connecting one be prepared to receive alternatives for these next four uh, days so far it's not as bad as it seemed to be even so the second news that i wanted to share with you all comes from benidorm obviously and these are all the pending ideas all the pending projects that are still not over and are still here waiting to be completed in 2024 we have a huge list of them look at this a huge list of different projects that mm, will need to be completed and while we are telling you about this i'm gonna leave you the view of the levante beach promenade so from all the pending projects what we have is the athletism uh, square a specific place for sport which needs to be done in the Poniente Beach on the Poniente side of Benidorm then we have the Mediterranean Avenue that's supposed to be completed by the end of uh, this year and it's something that we've been promised that will be happening this year already it's half so two-thirds of it will be completed already by 2025 let's hope it's going to be the case because they're still ultimating the details they're still searching for more or less exact same design so we'll see what's going to be happening they should have bought everything beforehand so that it would all be the same because what if these tiles are not available any longer what if the design or colors are not available any longer we'll have three different parts of mediterranean avenue we'll see how it will go also there is a demolition pending of Ta-da! these two towers right there in front you all know about them already there's not been a correct license for it they're heading they're going slightly more into the sea than they should be going legally but benny dorm is still thinking what to do with it because it's really really expensive to take them down apart from that we have also the shopping mall of benny dorm 
this is a big issue the shopping mall has been here it's been pending for quite a few years even before pandemics but what happened was that Benidorm Town Hall is actually waiting for the Rincon Deloitte phase to be completed. So we will not probably see the uh, shopping mall for the next five years, maybe even slightly more. Right now, there are some works being done. The Rincon Deloitte part is a reality and it is going to be happening. It's just that they're collecting all the necessary permits uh, and licenses for it. Uh, the gorgeous project that is this one right here that we've showed you already here on the channel a couple of times. We've even showed you the area, which is when we almost get into a big trouble. I'm going to leave you a video here on the screen so you can see what it looks like. It's this one. And you can search it here on the channel with the name that you've just seen. This was epic. And you can see what it looks like right now. And knowing how it will look like, it's going to be a massive change. So what happens basically that they want to build all the area, all the residential part of the project. And only then they want to build the shopping mall. Why? Because right now they feel it doesn't make any sense. They feel it's not going to be profitable. But once there's going to be more residents at that part, shopping mall will be so so close so nearby that it will make sense to put it there so um not for now but it is pending and by the way all the roads are being done already so it will be happening eventually we just need to wait a tiny bit more huge and some ambitious projects in benidorm that are taking way more than it was initially expected. Other part, which is the cultural center, right by the yellow brick road, right where the Ibiza street is, the Esperanto street is, there is a huge brand new cultural center. We also have a video about that area. I'm gonna try and leave it linked for you. They finished one part of it. It should be done in three different phases. And first of them is completed already. That's why it's open. That's why there are some concerts out there. Two thirds of it are really, really ugly. They're extremely ugly, to be honest with you. And it's not a good image for Benidorm. So right now, once again, it's a pending project. Um, there's nothing approved for these next phases. They need to get the money out of somewhere. So uh, it's going to take them a while probably to make it look nice, which is not good for all the tourists that are actually passing by that specific region. And they see a huge kind of abandoned building from different sides. So not good, not good definitely some things need to be uh, changed asap apart from that the area of the low emissions for the cars for the vehicles it's something that benidorm has been working for a long time already for quite a few years especially after pandemics and um, there's some streets that have been limited already to 10 kilometers per hour to only residents but overall this system is still not put in place so we can still move around with just a usual diesel or gasoline vehicles as nothing ever happened so this needs to change also in the next few years because europe is also pressing spain to go into more emissions neutral phase and um, this should be changing when not sure just yet maybe in the next few years but a lot more people have hybrid cars right now here in the zone so it's not gonna affect us too much and a lot of rented cars are hybrid not gonna be a big issue for any of us tourists or locals the next part that is still pending is the bus station we will go there and we'll show it to you how it looks like right now in 2024 there's been some work done there there's been some uh, cleanup there's been some closure of different areas so that people will not get inside would not get drunk inside groups you know or like use it as a shelter for homeless etc we will see how it looks like. We'll make a separate video for you once again. If there's been a lot of new useful changes out there or if it's not the case. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel so you wouldn't miss these interesting uh, videos. No one wants Benny Dom's bus station. No one wants this giant project. None of the businesses, none of the companies to overtake it and make it nicer. So, so far only the hotel is there and probably the gym on the top floor. That's basically it. Even supermarkets went away because that was just not profitable to stay in that area any longer, which is sad, but it is how it is. Apart from the bus station, we also have an absolute silence of the island of Benidorm. This is that beautiful island we have right in front of us. Benidorm's Island has a bar on it that's been working for decades and decades, basically since the tourism kicked in. 
And the main issue of it is that it doesn't have a corresponding license, a valid legal license. They paid some amount of money a long time ago so that the license would be issued, but it's not a correct one. So what happened is that Benidorm said they needed to shut down, but surprise, surprise, something tells us that they are still actually open and fully functioning. This is the only business that is there on the Benidorm's island. There's not much more than that and just having a walk around and make some pictures of Benidorm and all the skyline. And there is like a submarine vision. That's it, not more than that one. And Benidorm's town hall is not giving any kind of news about the update on what's happening with the bar. There's supposed to be a project of a museum of like a specific area of protection of that natural area, but no news uh, so far. Some of the last projects are, for example, the uh, Aula del Mar, which is located right there next to the Hotel Brisa. That's like a museum part of it. It's like a cultural uh, small recinct, like a small house, which is supposed to inform people more about the water, about the sea life. It's a useful thing, both for tourists and locals, and especially to make some kind of events and celebrations too for the town hall. But it's not open just yet because they're lacking some essential services. So it's been built but it's not functioning, it's not open for people to check it out either. So that's more projects to be uh, done. New police office, which will be in Benidorm, especially because it's spreading, Benidorm is growing and needs more police stations. So there's gonna be a brand new one opening up too. And a platform, intelligent platform of destination, which is the project where you have a lot of different like tablets, like uh, tabloids and like a tablet itself, like an iPad, giant iPads, where you can check all the information depending on where you're located. You can check different routes to have a walk. Um, places that are located nearby, history of Benidorm and much, much more. So it's still not available just yet. As you can see, a lot to be done in Benidorm and in 2024, a lot of the projects are still not finished. Let's hope for the best. Let's hope that the most important ones will be over really, really soon. We'll be all finished, all done, especially those that play a big role in tourism of our region, because that means work for all the people who are here. That means tourists will be able to enjoy even more. And now the last news, the last news is about a person that here in Spain, they officially call already Gastro Geta. Geta is like a it's like a face, but like a big face, like a face in a bad way, okay? And gastro, it means like a gastronomic, the one that is like food related and restaurants and hosteleria related. Um, why it's, he's been called like this? Actually, I'm not proud of um, giving you this news simply because the person that's been doing this is of Lithuanian nationality. As you know, I'm from Lithuania. If you don't, you know it already. I was born in Lithuania, right by the Baltic Sea, uh, and um, this person is from my country, sadly. He's around 50 years old and he's been spotted around different parts in Spain. Basically, the modus operandi of this person is to go inside of different bars, cafeterias and restaurants, ask for the meal, ask for the drinks, eat it and then go out without paying. Sometimes he was faking a stroke or faking not feeling well to go with an ambulance to the hospital. Uh, sometimes he was just running away and that's basically it or going kind of to the toilet and then just disappearing. This was what he was doing, but now he's in Benidorm. He came to Benidorm. So be very, very careful, please, all the tourists. Why? Because right now, not only the bars, bars probably already know that he's here and they'll be prepared. They even have maybe his picture on the wall inside of the office to alert the workers. Probably that's the case because he scammed a lot of places, at least, at least with the official news, he's been already brought into the police station around 23 to 24 times in the last year so that's a lot and all the times that he's not been arrested that's a big amount of time scamming people and he's changed the way he was acting in Benny dorm he was arrested once again he will be in prison for around one or two weeks so we're safe for that time starting from now on but then you need to be cautious. Why? From eating or stealing in a supermarket something small and not paying for it to actually stealing belongings of people. He's been spotted in Benny Dorm's bowling, 
right by the Mediterranean Avenue where the Hotel Bell Roy is. Right in front, you know, there's Festilandia and there's a bowling place. So in that bowling place, uh, he was spotted there. Probably he was playing some bowling or just having a drink, whatever it is. And he spotted some um, wallet with a card on the counter that was like unattended because people were playing bowling, obvious, right? So he took that card and he used the money as well to pay in different services. Eventually police arrested him so the person recovered his belongings, but still the shock and the stress is something that no one should be going through. Also uh, stealing money, stealing like some small things like phone, etc. There's a lot of tourists here and he is dressed actually pretty, pretty well uh, with branded clothing. He, the main distraction is that this person looks like a tourist. A lot of the times this is the case. These people look like tourists so that you would feel safe around them and then they just steal your things. So bear that in mind, be careful. A male, uh, almost without, almost bald, without hair, almost at all. Um, like big complexion uh, and with nice clothing. Walking around Benidorm stealing things. So bear that in mind, be careful. Probably police is on him too. Probably a lot of businesses are as well. But if you see someone suspicious, don't leave your belongings unattended because that might not end up well. And now let's have a short walk down the Levante beach and let you know what the weather will be looking like in the next week's time. This is what's happening right now. While we're, we're filming the video, it was quite sunny, but once we stopped and went to show you the beach, the clouds came here. There is still some sunshine right there on the back, but here in the area, the clouds are just coming here non-stop. Actually, yesterday at night, this night, it seems to be raining a tiny bit because all the pavement was wet and there were some uh, like splashes of water left behind. So probably was raining a tiny bit and it might be raining today for the Free Kings Parade. Let's hope it's not going to be the case because it will be all ruined, but we'll still be there to show you guys what's going on. But these clouds will be the whole entire day probably here in the area. A lot of people came to the beach, but probably will be going away because, well, this is what's actually going on. And there's some slight wind here too. Even so, apart from these couple of days of clouds, the rest of them should be very, very nice. There's gonna be some sunshine with clouds mixed. So you'll get a little bit of everything, but it shouldn't be raining any other day except for maybe today's night time. The temperatures were really, really nice a couple of days, first days of January, basically 20 degrees. We were absolutely enchanted with this gorgeous weather, but right now it's not the case any longer. Right now we already have around 17 degrees and it's not going to be changing any time soon. We will have it even slightly worse. The next six to seven days will have the temperatures of around 14 to 16 degrees something more typical of january months just that you would know but still it will be sunny it will be nice outside so you will be able to enjoy your holidays here in benidorm town even if it's not as hot as it was already the previous days thank you for accompanying us on today's benidorm news update from the gorgeous levante beach i hope you enjoyed watching today's video and we'll see you in a new one tomorrow which is where hopefully we'll be seeing the benidorm three kings parade unless it will be raining which is then probably we'll see a different video which is finally the rain in Benidorm town thank you for accompanying us today and we'll see you tomorrow in a video which we'll see what it will finally be depending on today's night weather bye teams.